In this video, we're going to show you how to get into your Google Analytics to add an additional user to your account. So first we're in Google and Chrome. I am signed in as myself under my Google account. And what I want to do is I'm going to go up here and type in analytics.google.com. Now this is going to take you to Google Analytics. Now, if you don't know that URL, that's okay. If you just type in Google Analytics, like you're actually looking it up, watch, it's just gonna take you right there. And that, since you're signed in, it's gonna take you right into it. So just type in, click on Google Analytics, and now we're gonna get into the analytics portion. So what you're seeing is I already have analytics set up, so I'm seeing a whole dashboard and stuff. When you first get here and you've never signed in, it's gonna have you sign in on the top right and then all that is, is is activating this whole site for you. Um, when you're in here, if you want to get in the back door of it and kind of administer it, guess what? You're going to click on admin down here in the bottom left. Okay. So what you want to do is you've got an account, which is your overall account where you can see all kinds of different properties. But for each particular website or a blog or a store, those each are their own properties. So you'll notice you have user management all the way across these options. Now, if you would like to give somebody some vis visibility to your reports just for a particular website and not your overall account, you're going to use user management under property. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So we're going to click on user management and you'll see I've got a few people set up here. Um, one of them is my husband because I was actually testing him out for this. But it's saying per, this gives you a little rundown of permissions. So there's user administrators, report collaborators, account administrators, and report users. So you really need to figure out what level of uh, authorization you want to give to somebody you're adding. So I, for these purposes, am going to add yet another Gmail account that I happen to hold. And I'm going to uh, type that in here. So all you want to do is type in the Gmail account of the person you want to add. Now, if the person you're trying to add doesn't have a Gmail account, that's okay. You can add their like a dot hotmail.com or just grabbing it, or yahoo.com or a you know um, xyzcompany.com. Just know that once they get the um, invitation from Google to be to add to this, they're probably going to have to find a way to sign into Gmail themselves, which is fine. That's their problem. I usually ask people what their Gmail account is because then it makes it much easier. So um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let, since this again is my account, you can see that I, I can add full authorization. Um, manage users, I, I tend to be very, you only want to give that to someone you fully trust because someone who can manage users can take you off as a user. Um, so what I want to do is I'm going to give full authorization to this person. I do want to notify the user by email and I'm going to click add. And that will add that person. They'll get notified that they've been added as a, you know, whatever level of the property for that website. And then that person can then log in and see all the things. And actually, let me go show you what they see. So I'm going to go open that. I have a Chrome user account just for that email. I'm just going to close that. And I'm going to go ahead and let's go in. We'll type in Google Analytics. And let's go to Google Analytics. So now since I've been added there, I should have an audience overview. And I do I have some, oh, I need to take this old one. Okay, so I have been added to Really Social. Here I am. And they've given me views for all the website data. Okay. So that's how I'm able to see it. And so now if I needed to, again, I'm in this other user, my, my other Gmail account, I can go to admin. And since I've been given full authorization, now you can see I can take everybody, I could take people off and things like that. So that's how you add a user. Now, once you add someone, if you want to let them edit, that means that they can edit goals and things like that. Um, but primarily, when you do add somebody, what they're probably going to be wanting to do is looking at your stuff like your tracking info. Um, and that's what you need to actually get uh, your tracking set up on your website. And if you give someone at least a visibility for Google, they should be able to get that and get that entered for you. That, my friends, is how you add a user to your Google Analytics. I hope this was helpful and enjoy.